Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. Uh, I'm really excited about something that I started doing just this last weekend, and I think that it's really useful for anyone who's taking notes or sitting in a lecture or taking um, notes at church like I was doing. So what I did is uh, I was using the audio. It's right here in Insert. You can go Audio here and Record and record the audio. So here, if I go back to the message I was listening to. I just was sitting in a chair. I had my tablet holder, my stylus, and it was all, it was perfect. It was exactly the note-taking experience I wanted it to be, uh, which is kind of a funny thing uh, to be excited about taking notes, but it was easy. It was uh, easy and really effective. And then I've got this little floating window here that I wanna talk about at the end of the video. You can see it here. And so uh, what I did is I recorded and then uh, what I liked that I wasn't really aware was going to happen. The blessing of God is when you have the kinds of profound heart to heart. Here you can see that you have, I hope you have in your small groups, in your subcongregations. That this will play back the audio in alignment with where I was writing. So what, to me, what's really great about this is this is an audio file. So it's it's really small. You know, it's not like you're recording a video and have this giant video taking up space on your computer. It's a small audio file, and I did it from my chair, and it worked just fine. Um, and in my notes here, I I have some section. I'm like, okay, is it reckless? No, there is structure. Right, so what did I mean when I wrote that? What was I thinking when I wrote that? You have, the world does not have that, you understand that? And it's not that way beyond these walls. And it's, you so, have, the world does not have that. You know, I can go back and hear exactly what was being taught at that moment. So I have this, my, my general, this is what I grasped from what was being taught. And then I can go back and listen. This is exact. This is the specifics. This is what he said. And so I can um, go all the very granular level, uh, understanding and remembering exactly what was being said. That is so cool and, and such an effective way. It's like, why would I not do this every single time? This makes so much sense. And this is what I'll be doing from here forwards. So I will take notes. Um, quick refresher for those who are, are not familiar with this channel. Uh, I have a lot of OneNote videos. Um, I'm using the font. This is Calibri 11 set in uh, options over here. And I'm using rule lines, the narrow, narrow ruled, which is the ones all the way to the left. That's, that's the important stuff that you need to know. Uh, I also use the artist pad over here to speed up note taking so that I can um, quickly switch between colors and uh, erasing modes and copying and pasting, deleting stuff. All right, so this note taking experience was fantastic. Um, I'll include a picture right now of uh, me sitting in a chair with the tablet holder. And I just attached the tablet holder and carried it all together. I wish that there was. Uh, more discreet way of doing so, but it was fine. And it was super easy. Again, super easy to take notes comfortably and extremely effectively uh, with what was going on. All right, so I promised you at the end of this video that I would show you this little floating window. This is called Floating Player. It's part of the uh, Chrome store, it's free. And um, this, this was cool. So I can't get the audio to record while I'm recording in OBS Studio. Uh, so it's not gonna record the audio correctly uh, in OneNote, but it will for this video. So here I'm watching this video by Layla as OneNote's tips and tricks video. So if I'm taking notes at home or somewhere, I can plug in a headset or connect a Bluetooth 
headset and listen to this and take notes um, at the same time as I'm watching it so I'm not jumping back and forth between two windows. This is a beautiful little player. I love that it's borderless, it's very simple, um, and I can take notes. More about them towards the end, so stay tuned for that. Now, let's continue with our tip. David Allen, the author of Getting Things Done, okay, so. by the way, it's a great book, and I highly recommend it if you're interested in improving your productivity. He says, be worried for having ideas, not holding them. So, you need to find a way to record and store these ideas externally so we can concentrate on actually getting these things done. That's where OneNote comes in for you. OneNote is a digital notebook, but it's much more than that. I'm sure you're going to agree with me by the time you get to the end of this video. Let's get to my OneNote productivity tips. Okay, so you can see, again, take notes at the same time on the same window really makes learning stuff a lot more fun and easy doing it this way as opposed to having multiple screens and um, trying to do a split screen view and all of that. It's fantastic. Highly recommend this. Uh, again, this is Floating Player. Um, this looks like here I have this window here, so I close this. And then up here is my icon. I pinned it up here. And so this puts this up playing in picture in picture mode. And then I can change the video over here. All right, you guys, that's it. It's just a quick little video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe. And I'll be having a lot more content on OneNote coming up soon.